today, uh, this is Tiffany. Um, she does not like my split comb brush that I've been uh, mentioning. These are really great too. Um, these are like horsetail, horse mane brushes, I think. But um, they, hi, Milano. I know. Um, but they will, they're great in that um, it doesn't completely open up the Surrey lock structure, but you can get a lot of the big trash off. Um, Tiffany, I don't know, we we work with her. Oh. Okay, well that was her, okay. So I have worked with her, but she does not like this comb. Right, Tiff? All right, so when they're like that, I may just not use it at all. And just work with them and know that I'm gonna have a lot more cleaning to do. Okay. And as you can see, she's a little more moving around, not really wanting to do this. Um, so when you have an animal like that, it can actually help. Sophie, come here, Sophie. Can you come help? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go on. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we'll see. Now, um, oh, okay, uh, that's too close, okay. I'm gonna see if I can get something here. So, um, she wasn't really wanting to do this and was moving around a lot. So, one thing you can do is add extra friends in the, uh, in the pen. And I know this is like gonna be a jolty little video, but let's see what we can do. Um, you know, animal, animal, woo! <laughs> animal life, barn life is not particularly a uh, smooth and easy all the time. Um, it can get a little messy. So, hey! Okay, so I'm just gonna remind her. Can you see? Oh shoot, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can push that back. Go oh, other way. Uh, okay, okay. You are in the way, Milano. Yes, you're cute, but in the way. Okay, let me see. Yeah, we'll have to see what I got. Okay, so um, she's a mess because she does not like my comb. Um, I just added a few extra friends in here to limit movement and to give her a little bit of competition on the food so she's not going to wiggle her about. So that's one way you can overcome some of these, um, you know, different, different animals have different personalities. So, um, yeah, so you just work with them. And Milano, you are... <laughs> you just wanted to be in the camera. Okay, so maybe I will be able to get some good ones of a uh, shot from a very different angle because uh, she's right here. Okay, so I have my spring-loaded Thornton's art supply scissors. Um, these are so cool. I just love them. And uh, uh, yeah, this is this is me just loving their product. Um, and okay, so the top lines here and I'm gonna go ahead and work, do their prime. So it's gonna be about from here to here, if you can see, okay, where a horse's saddle might go. I'm gonna put the scissor in and angle it so that I don't cut their skin, okay? That's really important, okay? So you wanna angle it so you don't cut their skin, and there you go. So my, <laughs> my scissors are looking pretty upright, right? Okay, and these are spring-loaded, which is awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna move with her. Okay, and I can already see that my little chow hounds have finished off most of their food, so I'm gonna have to take a short. All right, here you go. Ta da! Okay, you will go through a lot of treats. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, and here's a way you can um, sort of see where you're gonna go next and to avoid second cuts if you can go slow. And the key to making them look nice and get kind of like a nice fleece harvest is to cut pretty close to your last um, row, okay? So I'm gonna cut it pretty close. And so you're not cutting a whole lot at once. So see, you can almost see how much I'm cutting. It's not a lot at once. Um, and her top line's a little not straight. So, so I'm going pretty darn close again. I don't know what's going on. Oh, hey, some delivery maybe. Thank you, Tanner. Stay put, boo boo. Okay. Yes, Milano. Just eat your oatsies, okay? I'm kind of busy. Okay. So, 
See how like um, she totally sort of is staying in place now for me because um, now she's got friends and competition to eat the um, eat her treats. And also there's more animals in here, so less movement and less places she can get her into her oats. So these this definitely works really well when you've got uh, food motivated <laughs> uh, food motivated animals for sure. It's okay, Tanner. Oops, I think she might have shifted that. Okay, and I'm gonna put that in my prime bag. All right, I'm gonna keep going while I can. I'm not sure how this is gonna take in terms of video, but sometimes I'm um, just gonna have to do what I can so that I can get her cooled off. Um, it's gonna get a little hot. We've had a lot of rain and really, you know, typical spring unpredictable weather. Um, I like to wait till, move over, honey, honey, move over. I like to wait until the freeze is over. Okay, yeah, Milana, okay, I'm gonna have to get him out before. I love you, but you're gonna have to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is serious business, Milano. Yeah, sorry. Yep, you just have to adjust as you go. So, woo, so her fleece is the, um, is a little more open, less locky, very soft. Um, lots of different lock structures, not lots, but there's a couple different lock structures um, for Surrey alpacas. She's kind of got not much in terms of what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you saw Desi, she had a lot of pretty little locks. And her fleece actually came off um, more in one piece. Wow, they're eating fast. Are you guys like almost done? So I'm gonna try and see if I can shear over her because she's actually a little shorter than some of my other girls. Ooh, are you able to see this better? Okay, hopefully. So you can kind of push it down a little if you want to see where your rows are and you want to get it pretty close. So you're gonna angle your scissors up, make sure it's off the skin so you don't cut, their, uh, cut them. Okay, and she's the one that did not like the brush, so she's got quite a bit of mess on her top line especially, but it's okay, we work with the animals. Okay, hopefully you're getting a really good close up on this. Doesn't it feel cooler, Tiffy? Okay, so, so you can kind of see the closer the rows are and the less hair you pick up or fleece you pick up at a time, um, the nicer they'll look when they're done. So, and I'm making sure it's off the skin. But make sure you're not pulling on that fleece because when you pull on that fleece, you can actually get, uh, you can cut them that way too. Okay. Ooh. I have a phone call, but I'm not gonna get that because I'm a little busy, right? <laughs> All right, so hopefully you can see this really up close. Okay. All right. So she's got kind of an open lock structure. Her fleece isn't really sticking together very well like some of my other ones. That's okay. Okay, so. So I'm kind of holding hers because it's falling and they don't like it on their belly, obviously, you know. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do that. And see the, um, the rows, they're pretty close together. Okay. And this is um, shearing over the animal, which um, if they're standing is totally fine. Just don't do it when they're cushed. Although in some of my examples, I have done it with some of the more trusted animals and I am very careful. Um, she's not one of my taller alpacas, so I can do this, but I'm super short. So um, working over an animal is actually very difficult for me. But I think you're able to see it better unless I've already gone off screen at this point. <laughs> okay, <laughs> probably. Let's see, maybe I can angle it even more. Ooh, 
Did I do that right? Okay. Okay, again, sorry. Um, I am in the barn right now by myself trying to operate the camera and all these sweet sweetie pies and trying to shear and trying to share how I shear in a very gentle, non-restrained way. Um, and like I've mentioned in other videos, um, they do these animals trust me because I work with them and I treat them with love all year round. So when it comes to shearing, they're more willing to work with me. Um, please don't set unrealistic expectations um, and expect an animal to behave this way if you haven't worked with them and done any work, <laughs> okay? Because that would not be fair to the animals. Um, it does, we do <clears throat> a lot of work from maybe, I don't usually start training babies or handling them much until they're maybe over three months old so that they're fully bonded with their um, herd and, um, and you know, they, they're confident in themselves. Um, and then I might start sort of working with them a little bit. Okay, so I'm hoping you can see this. Um, let me see if I can get a more angle. Okay, so this is the sensitive area that I mentioned in other videos where the leg and the rump, uh, sorry, the leg comes together with a belly. This area, there's a little divot and it's very soft. So you've got to be really careful how you position your scissors. And if you are, if you are, you know, right or left handed and you're going this way, you know, you don't want to jab it accidentally in this area because it's really soft and you can't cut them. So one technique that I do from the other side is when I get closer, I do lift it off the fleece, not pulling it, but off the, off the fleece, sorry, off the skin. So here I'll go ahead and do it reverse. It's a little harder. Oh, shoot, my back. Okay. So I'm going to go this way. So here, I'm going to lift it a little bit off the skin just to be sure I don't cut or hurt them right here. It's really pretty soft and tender, okay? Um, another way you can do it is so you can see what you're doing, you can um, just cut that area off so you can see better. And hopefully she didn't fully kick the... Did you just kick that? All right. So it is a sensitive area. Okay. And I am still doing the prime, no idea. You can see this right here. Can you see? Ah! Okay, that's Tiffany moving the camera. Okay, so I can't reach much further because I'm short and it's looking a little sloppy, so I'm gonna wanna work on the other side. Oops, sorry baby. Okay, so like I mentioned, um, you know, I work with the animals and I actually moved the camera, so hopefully you can see better on this side. So I'm going to continue on this side. So I actually did a little bit of the other side um, since I was able to reach over. Okay, so here's the, again, the sensitive spot around there where their belly and their leg meet. So they're both sensitive in terms of being touched and also it's pretty soft. So you want to make sure your scissors aren't going to jam them there. Well, I mean, anywhere, you don't want to jam them. <laughs> so you want to lift it a little bit off the, fle uh, off the skin. Just be real mindful. These are sharp. And we don't want to hurt our babies. So this is still the prime. Um, I have a little bit more to go before I hit the belly section. Yes, Stephen. You are going to be so happy. Trust me. It's going to get hot. I do try to share my denser animals first, but um, right now a lot of the animals do have a lot of fleece on them. Um, okay, also here, it's the other side. I'm going to lift it off the skin so I don't cut them. Even if I end up leaving a little bit longer and I have to do some cleanup work, I don't want to cut them. <laughs> okay. So, just going to keep going. Okay, I'm getting so sweaty, you guys. I know, and I hear a lot of whining. It's probably... Uh, okay. So. All right, so that's still prime. Yes. Doesn't it feel better? <laughs> okay. So again, this is kind of like their little sensitive area. I'm actually going to do this so I can see where I'm cutting so I don't cut her. Okay, so see, you can see that right there. I'm not sure you can see it, but 
Hopefully. So this area would be a little more towards the belly fiber. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get that as a belly. So I'm gonna keep going here because I think it's still a little bit in the prime. It's starting to shift towards belly. So she's actually, you know, being pretty good. Um, she's probably one of my, definitely my better ones. Um, and again, here towards the armpit, I'm gonna um, lift it off the skin a bit. And I'm starting to see coarser fiber right there. So I'm just probably gonna throw this whole thing in the seconds or thirds. Okay, so I kind of wanted to put this in the bag, but since this is a sensitive area and she's letting me go, I'm gonna just keep going. And if it drops on the floor, I'm not gonna worry too much about it because they do not generally like this area. And when you kind of keep going, sometimes they let you, so. Wow, yeah, she got a little, actually let me get pretty far down. Okay, so I don't know what that was. Not belly or something. All right, ooh, you look pretty. Okay, so here's the armpit and legs. Okay, so I like to kind of cut that sacrifice piece. Okay, so she's letting me do this, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Generally, this is not an area they like to be touched. So, she's being good. She's going to go for it. <laughs> go for it. All right. That looks pretty darn good on this side. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to give her a little bit more high-value treats and then probably try to finish up her other side a little bit more because I don't think it's done. So, actually, she's been super actually cooperative at this point. So I've been doing an express cut on her to get her as cool as possible. She is standing, so I'll show you how I've been doing this. Again, I'm just trying to go horizontal as long as I can. And around here, I'm mostly, there's something. Um, I'm just gonna start cleaning her up. So I'm just going to, get some of that off and I am paying attention to where her skin is and where her fiber is so I don't cut her. So this is kind of, you know, there are different ways to do it, different ways to work with different animals depending on how patient they are or, you know, whether you really want to keep all of their fleeces or it's okay if you got a little bit on the ground. Okay, so um, she actually, that's pretty coarse here, she let me um, work on her belly, so I went ahead and did that. I cleaned her up as well. I did go, I'm not sure you can see it, but I did go in a tile, a little sloppy, but I went in a tile and then around here I went going this way to clean her up so that I could get most of that fleece off so she'd be cooler sooner. Um, you're not going to be able to see it, so I'm probably just going to turn this off, but I'm going to try to get more off since she's just chilling and happy and eating. Um, so again, you when they are standing, you can work over them, especially if you're tall. Same concept applies. Okay, so even though... It seemed like I might have gotten less off of her at the very beginning. I'm actually getting probably most off of her. Okay. Yes! You guys look hot. You're going to be so hoping and wishing I can get you guys tomorrow and wishing you guys were more into it today, huh? Okay. So right here on this side, I know you can't see. I am going at an angle against the leg just to get as much of that off and cool, get her cool. Whew. Okay. Oh. How does that look? That looks pretty good. So then I would go back and do her neck on another round. Um, well, she's letting me. Oh, sorry. Did I sit on your toes? Oh. <laughs> Can't stand. Okay. Well. So if I'm going from this way over her head, let me just get a little bit more then, since she's still chilling, there's still more food, she's still eating. 
So just like that, just in a, okay. Can't do it when our next bend. Mm -hmm. So the neck is hard. You're not gonna get as good of a fleece um, collection when you're hand shearing the necks. Um, and then here, I think I'm gonna have to just go ahead and get her at an angle. And I can't see anymore, so probably shouldn't do it. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? On here, I'm gonna get a little bit more. Okay. I like to sit for a little bit. Huh? You better put Tanner up, sweetie. Yeah, I'm still working on Tippy. Okay, I think I probably expired my batteries too. So. All right. I think we got enough footage for today. I'm going to keep talking to myself. Let the chickens clean all that up. Yeah, they are coming in handy. Okay. Woo!